All right, so um, let's see. We've got another email here. Um, and in fact, people have been emailing you asking you questions. Um, wh- did you always want to be a rapper, says Singer 02? I always wanted to be a rapper because I grew up around a, a, a musical family. My mom was actually a rapper in the 80s. Oh, really? My dad, yes, in really? Chicago. A local rapper in Chicago. My dad played instruments like the guitar and the drums. And my older brother produced for a lot of people around St. Louis when I was growing up. So it was real interesting to have a studio in our house. So you I were was, kind of natural. That was, yeah, yeah, most like definitely. The next thing that was going to happen. <laughs> I, I wanted to rap when I was seven but i recorded my first song at eight so so, so what, what was your mom's name as a rapper what did she call us toasted tan toasted tan yes that's fantastic <laughs> and so so they really upwardly i mean did, did i mean a lot of people have problems with their what as we call them on the show wrinklies parents because uh-huh. when you say like i want to be a rapper they'll be like you're gonna be an accountant whether you like it or not young lady yeah. or something like that you know what I, you obviously didn't have that experience was it kind of like you know, they, they didn't press me real hard they, they was just like um whatever whatever i want to be they're gonna back they're gonna support me to the fullest and i picked rapping and you know it was already around the family so it was like it was already right there and they was like okay good job it wasn't like they were like <laughs> gonna make it one day okay since you want to do this we're gonna push it we're gonna push it to the limit it was lucky really you didn't they didn't say to you, you we want you to be a rapper now come on and you'd be like yeah, i want to no, be an didn't. accountant I no, be- no 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 actually i just i mean i just saw my brother producing for everybody around st louis all the time and everything yeah. we had the studio in our house so i was right around the environment every day so that's cool so that's where you got the confidence to do what you do perhaps mm-hmm. okay let's take another caller elena who do you have for us we have dj eric dj eric hello dj eric hello hello how are you sir Good. Good. Thanks for joining us on the show. We've got Jibs <laughs> here, um, and he's ready to talk to you. So say hi. What's up, DJ Eric? Hi. How's it going? Good. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very laid back customer, this Eric. Uh, Eric, what's your question for Jibs? I was wondering, what is the favorite song that you sing? What is my favorite song that I sing, like <laughs> off my album? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. I think King Kong is my favorite song. That's my new single featuring Chameleon there. That's right. my favorite song off the album. Wow, King that's Kong. pretty cool you managed to get to hang out with those kind of guys. Yeah, most definitely. We just shot the video for it in LA like a few days ago, so it's, it's going to be out too. So can you give us a sneak preview of what the video's about? Um, King Kong is about like a system in your trunk. Right. And it's like how loud your speakers are <laughs> and everything. And, <laughs> and the video is like... Like I'm upgrading. I start off in the, in the beginning of the video. I'm taking my driver's test. Then I end up getting my license. And then I like we talking about what type of car I want in the future and everything. And I go and hop in in a Chevy Chevelle yeah. and then get about. But the person the person who was teaching me how to drive don't know that I have a Chevy Chevelle. Oh. And everything. I'm just like I, I drive in an everyday car. You know, I see. something to get me from point A to point B. So like, and yeah. then I, I keep upgrading as the video go. Like I, I go from a Chevy <laughs> to a monster truck. And then I'm running over a Chevy. <laughs> and then I, I go from running over a Chevy from the monster truck to Lamborghinis and Phantoms and a lot of a lot of nice cars and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a real nice video. <laughs> that's really cool to hear the inside track of that. That's that sounds excellent. Okay, you're the I, first to hear it, baby. Thank you, thank you very much. I feel very special now. That's very cool. Yeah. So, so DJ Eric, um, I hope that answered your question. Um, what, what, um, what other artists have you worked with on this album? Any, any other people you can mention? Most definitely. Like I was saying, I got Chameleon on my new single, King Kong. I got Melody of the Pussycat Dolls. Mm-hmm. I have Fable of D4L. Wow. Um, Dave, Jay Valentine, a guy named Jay Valentine on there. He's a new act on on J Records. I have a. Um, on the production side, who made beats for me and everything. I have David Banner. He produced the track for me. Beasters, that's my older brother, DJ Beast. I was telling you about <laughs> his partner, Reese Beast. They produced the majority of the album. They actually made the beat for Chain Hang Low. Really? Yes. So and really and my new single. Yes. And my new single, King Kong. Talk about and, keeping um, in the family, pal. That's yeah, very good. Yeah, most definitely. I have, I have a lot of other people on there. You just, you know, I think I think everyone's going to like the album. That's really impressive. Okay. Jibs featuring <laughs> Jibs. <laughs> this is me featuring me. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they <go> to others. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You should actually do that. Maybe you should do one on one video. Like yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. You like singing really sort of really dapper and still sort of straight, and then yeah, the other one's like introducing you on stage, and you're like, yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll be hot. That'll be that'll hot. Be cool. Actually, that's a good idea for a video. There you go. I'm, I'm down. I can help you sort those things out. I mean, you hear it first, right here. That's it. That's, on an- KOL. that's another one. It's a DJ Rick special. Yeah, Most definitely. All right, that's cool. Um, now, um, his, you know, from the sublime to ridiculous, Kitty Cat says, "Do you have any pets at all?" Yes, I do. Actually, it's not my pet though, but they live in the house <laughs> with me. It's my little sister's dog, and she oh. have a, a, a little black teacup poodle. Yeah? Yeah. Is it, is it cute or does it go everywhere? No, no, it's cute, but it think it's a big dog. <laughs> it's always the way with, with smaller dogs. They, they just seem to think it's that about this big, but it think it's this big. It's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, most definitely. So, so uh, has, it, has it bitten you or have you been okay? 
No, I've been okay, but it just it's just think like if it's a big dog, then it think it's the same size. I'll be like, man, you you this big. It's like it's so silly, isn't it? Because you're like, oh, it's disaster waiting to happen. No. Yeah, most definitely. But she thinks she can fight a big dog. So if a big dog ever try to <laughs> step her paw on her, then she's gonna go out crazy. See, we're we're hearing so much about the ins ins and outs of being uh, uh, jibs. Uh, now, um, thank you very much, DJ Eric. Thanks for your call. Okay. Can I tell Jib something? Sure, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, most definitely. I have your album. It is very, very good. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Can't get better than that, my friend. Thanks. Can't get no better than that, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, let's take another call. Elena's got there for us. Elena, who have you got? I am Chelsea from Florida. Chelsea from Florida. Hello, Chelsea. Hi. How's it going? Good. Cool. Well, uh, we have Jibs here for you, so why don't you go ahead and say hi? How you doing, Chelsea? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Man, not that much. I mean, I'm just having fun right here in KOL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most definitely. It's always a pleasure to be here.